Okay, here we are. We're going to do it in less than seven minutes. We're unboxing the laptop screen from laptopscreen.com. Came in about three business days, USPS priority shipping very quickly. Here we are powering on the broken screen, and it looks horrible. Sad situation. Now we will go ahead and remove the little uh, rubber covers from the screws on the bottom of the laptop screen that's currently broken. And we're removing those little covers from the frame. Now I got a Phillips tip screwdriver and we're going to remove those two Phillips screws. There's one of them. And here we are pulling the second one out. And now we're going to use a flathead to pull the cover or the frame off of the laptop screen itself. And you just have to gently massage it and work it. And as we get to the top edge and the bottom edge, there's some adhesive that, again, you just have to massage it and work your way around. You'll, you'll feel it give and, and it kind of pulls out of these little clips as it's locked into place with little clips. There's the adhesive we're running into. And so you just gently pull it out. You're not going to hurt any electronics. Again, this screen is already broken, so you don't have to worry about flexing it. Um, just, you know, be gentle, but do what you got to do. There we are. We're pulling it off. And you can see that there was some adhesion right there on those points. And that was why it took a little more muscle. And there you are. That's what's remaining. Now we're going to go ahead and remove the screen from the laptop backing and uh, pulling it out of the shell here. We're unscrewing the, there's actually six screws that hold it in place, um, four on the bottom and two on the top. So those are the four bottom ones that are now undone. And as you'll see now, it's no longer tied to the back of the, the shell of the laptop. And then we're gonna have to take off the four corner pieces. Well, first we'll unplug it. And uh, you have to do this very gently. So you wanna get that tape that's holding it on it's got adhesive also underneath the plug that you'll see in a second. So we want to go ahead and get that tape undone, unstuck. Now don't yank it or you may rip the plug out of place and you don't want to do that. And so we're unsticking this gently and then we're going to go ahead and reach underneath the plug itself and the cord has a little adhe adhesive too. Release that and then pull it out and it just slides right out, drops right out, no problem. And that's done. And now we're going to go ahead and take the actual metal frame holding the laptop um, to the hinges off. So there's only four screws holding that in place. And this will be really quick. And two to go. One more. And you'll want to hold onto the screen because it's just going to fall out. It's done. It's out. And there it is. That's the busted one. You can see the frame that was holding it to the hinges. There's our new one from laptopscreen.com. And again, it's a perfect match for this laptop. Um, pretty mindless. I just did a Google search on the laptop model. And uh, that was the first, uh, first result. Now we just want to bend those frames we want to bend the hinged frame forward up against the closed, in the closed position in the laptop. And I just kind of bent that back. It was a little tweaked very gingerly. And we're going to place the new screen in position. Notice it has to be aligned with the clip that will plug into it um, at the bottom of the screen. And I'll uh, go ahead and those are the four points. We're going to rescrew the back to the frame. Just doing everything in reverse. Okay, now we're going to bend the screen back vertically and we're going to brace the back shell so that we can plug the cable in without straining it. Um, and you'll have to go ahead and just same thing as you did in reverse now. Just pop it back in there. It slides right in. Be gentle. Don't force it. Once you get it in, go ahead and seal the tape nice back on it. You shouldn't have to use new tape. You can, but there's no point. And now we're going to put it back upside down, It's just easier to work with. And you'll want to shove the cabling back into its raceway there. And we'll power this thing on. And voila, <laughs> it works. All right, it's booting up to Windows 
startup repair screen because it was shut down abruptly. And we go ahead and we're going to return the six screws to their place. Oh, my coworker. And a few questions from them. And that's all right. I'm going to keep filming. Okay, get all those in place. And again, this was from laptopscreen.com. They're a great vendor. They made it very easy for us. And this repair was so simple. It took less than a half an hour while I was filming it. Okay, I'm going to clean the glass so that the edges, when we pop the frame back on, um, it's just clean everywhere. We don't want to have to have fingerprints coming over or hiding behind the frame that kind of are hard to clean off. So it's easier to clean it now. Go ahead and get that all clean, dust, get it dust off. And we will drop the frame back on top. Very easy. And it just snaps into place. Evenly press it back in and you'll see the, it just falls right into place. And then look around the edge and double check it after you've done it all. But go ahead and return the two screws. Those are the remaining hardware and then the little covers that you stick back on. Again, those should just stick right back. The adhesive should be fine. Um, and they'll go right back into place. Voila. And then just snap everything back in. Make sure everything is snapped together. Power it on. And look at that. Okay, we're going to go back to normal Windows boot. And we have successfully repaired a screen in this video within seven minutes. Honestly, it probably was about 20 something minutes worth of total work. Yay. <laughs> Thank you, laptopscreen.com. And I hope this tutorial is instructional for anybody who's looking to do it. Don't be too intimidated. It was way too easy.